friends, it's Gwen. It is Wednesday and that means it is time for another Top 5 Wednesday. Today's topic is our favorite fictional cities and I had a really hard time with this so I am going to do two separate videos. The first video is going to be movies and shows, my favorite fictional cities from that and then the other video will be my top five favorite fictional cities in books. Of course, some of these do cross over, but basically it's an easy way for me to do like a top 10 without having to rank them one through 10 and just being able to rank them one through five. Of course, the Goodreads group will be linked in the description box as always, and you should check it out and join because it's a lot of fun. I myself do not participate in all of the topics, but one that strikes my fancy, I participate in and Today is one of those. So let's get started. This video is going to be my top five favorite fictional cities in movies or TV shows. Coming in at number five is The Island of the TV show Lost. I loved that show. I didn't watch it when it was actually airing. Um, I only watched it on Netflix and I was totally obsessed and it's all I could do while I was watching it. I watched it about a year or two ago now, not really sure, um, but I loved it and I just thought it was so cool and I love tropical islands and there was lots of cool people on that island and yeah, I just, I loved that show so much and it did get a little strange at times, but yeah, I would just, I think it's really cool. Coming in at number four is obviously a book but I've never read it so I've only seen the cartoon version of this and that is Wonderland from Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and of course the many you know other books and shows after that fictional you know set in that fictional city I just love Wonderland it's so magical and mysterious and dark and I just I love it so much and I think it would be so cool to go to like a tea party with Mad Hatter or you know chase after the white rabbit or just go see the queen of hearts and all the little hearts and the bushes that they have to like paint and uh, I don't know it's just it seems like such a magical world and I would love to go and visit. Coming in at number three is my one two and three are just oh I just love them so 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 much but coming in at number three is how town from the nightmare before Christmas this is just one movie I will watch again and again and again and I watch it all different times of the year it doesn't have to be Halloween or Christmas or any of that I just watch it like whenever I can because it is that cool um, if you haven't seen it what are you doing with your life no just kidding you should definitely go check it out but Halloween town double thumbs up from me coming in at number two is a show that I do not think I have ever watched the whole way through but lucky me it's on Netflix now so I'll be marathoning that and that is Twin Peaks Washington of the show Twin Peaks and I was a lot younger like really young when this show actually came out and my parents like forbade me to watch it with them um so yeah so now I'm an adult and I've attempted to watch it before I started way back you know when Blockbuster was a thing I tried to get the DVDs and I was watching them but I just never finished so now with Netflix, thank you Netflix, I can hopefully finish that series. Coming in at number one, it should be no surprise, well maybe it is because I don't really talk about TV shows and movies on my channel a lot. Coming in at number one is Stars Hollow from Gilmore Girls. I love that show so much. I was absolutely obsessed with that show when it was on the WB. I was just obsessed. It was my favorite thing. The characters, the town, the interactions, the family dynamics, the friendships. But alas, I have never watched the entire show, like the entire series. Why? Because where I was living at the time, Lawton, Oklahoma, at the time, um, they canceled the WB. And I couldn't leave where I was living or I probably would have but basically they canceled the WB so yeah that was a terrible day but I got stuck like a few seasons in but now thanks to Netflix I'm back at it and I started watching it from the beginning and it is just reminding me of all the things that I love about Stars Hollow and the characters and all the fun. So those are my top five fictional cities set in TVs or movies and yeah that's all I have for this video. Make sure to check out part two which will be my top five fictional cities in books. See you next time. Bye!